All right, here we go. Has the Bitcoin bear market ended and is Terra Luna coming right back from the dead? And what are NFTs looking like right now? Let me answer all those questions for you right now. It's time for my thoughts and weekly analysis on the crypto markets. Thank you for tuning in. It's your boy, John Doe, at Real John Doe. To follow me, thumbs up this video, like, like, like this video, and let's go. And right before we get into the video, here is the Currency.com channel. We had a little rename right here, Currency.com, Crypto Made Simple. Make sure you are subscribed for much more crypto content, keep you educated. And also my Twitter, search at Real John Doe. Follow me there as well. Hit that follow button. Now, let's get into the crypto markets here on coinmarketcap.com. We're looking at the top 10 cryptos right now. Look at Bitcoin just reached above 30K once again. Why is this happening? Is this bear market finally done? Did we bottom? Is 30K the new 10K? Well, one thing that did happen here a few days ago is Bitcoin's price action actually started moving away from the stock market. And it was not in a good way because the stock market had a massive breakout, but Bitcoin did not move up. It started breaking down. But as of right now, while I'm making this video, Bitcoin finally had that breakout. So maybe it was just delayed by a few days. And as you see here, Bitcoin was stuck below $30,000. That was the level that traders were looking for uh, to break out. And look what happened here with the stock market. Bitcoin down, stock market up which was the uh, first time that's happened actually uh, this year. And that marked nine straight down weeks for Bitcoin and price was down about 22% for May. Now, as we get into the monthly close, Bitcoin's finally starting to make uh, that rebound. And there are some metrics that traders look for for Bitcoin for it to uh, finally find a bottom. That's the fear and greed that helps uh, people know if there's a lot of sell pressure, buy pressure, people are greedy or there's a lot of fear in the market. We also have some whale accumulation right here. That does happen and then the last thing here is some traders will actually look to buy bitcoin when price drops below the cost of its production and speaking of price looking at bitcoin's price right now i have the weekly chart pulled up and look how bad these few weeks were price was breaking down and down and down for weeks and weeks and it's thirty thousand dollars support was the level that we were looking for it to hold because if that does not hold then we're heading right down towards $20,000 for Bitcoin. As of right now, we are looking like we're getting a bounce here at $30,000. And if we do, we got to see how price reacts to this next resistance at about $35,000. So if we do get a rejection there and come test the lows, then this could be the breakdown we get going into July and uh, June. But if we do test $35,000 and flip that into a support and finally trade above that uh, 20 weekly and trade above this um, 50 weekly moving average, then we can see Bitcoin continue to push, push up and test these highs uh, from earlier this year. We have 45,000 as that next major resistance level. And then we also have right up here towards 50 to 55,000 and then all time high ranges at about 65,000. So on the downside right now, the risk reward does look uh, fairly good for Bitcoin. For prices to drop down, there's not as much down about uh, 20,000, we have about a 30% risk, but towards the upside, towards all time high, it's about 130, 130% risk. So right now the risk reward is great for Bitcoin for buying the dip, but there is still potential for price to continue to push down towards 15, um, maybe 10, 15, $20,000 is where I would expect to see some type of massive bottom or some wick where some, uh, some big buyers come in. But when it comes to daily momentum, if you look here at Bitcoin, RSI was oversold. Now it is starting to move up towards that RSI resistance at about 50. We can see Bitcoin push up towards this resistance right here on the daily. And if it can break out of that level, then yes, we're seeing Bitcoin head up towards 35,000. And that will be a major level uh, for the price. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, well, maybe, I guess, Terra Luna. Well, if you look right now, it does not say Terra Luna says Terra Classic. And that's because Terra Luna kind of did a thing to bring it back from the dead. So they made Terra Classic, which was the original one, the one that went to zero. And then now we have a new one now, Terra V2. 
And I haven't looked too much into this, but I guess it's a new version of Terra to help investors and people who got wrecked. But look at this as well. This started at $17 when it launched and it initially dropped about 80%. Lots of selling pressure happening as well on the new Terra Luna. What can happen to this? I think this will maybe recover depending on what the team has planned. But this is the one to follow now. Terra Luna. Terra Classic is the original one. All the things that went wrong will continue to go wrong with this one here. And maybe Terra Classic will start pushing upwards, um, kind of piggybacking from the, uh, the new one, V2. But we'll see how that happens. If you want to follow up on what's happening with V2, you can follow Du Quan, Stable Quan, I think that's his name. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he has all the intel on it. I haven't really been paying attention too much to this because I was following the initial dip, just to trade the price action, but I do not like to touch things like this when it's too early. But the good thing is, it looks like a lot of exchanges are actually supporting this 2.0 upgrade. So they're letting investors take part in it. And look at this, hit BTC. They supported the new Luna upgrade. And I think as well, Binance, and there's been a few other exchanges now that are also supporting this. So maybe there may, may be enough community support to keep this running and recover, but I don't think it'll ever recover to as much as it did. But one thing that I know right now is recovering is NFTs. Check this out on OpenSea. Look at all this. Like there's so much NFTs. I, I, I don't even check this as often as much, but I come here and I look. Volume is picking up once again for NFTs. You can see that lots of green happening. We also have Solana NFTs on here. The NFT market right now, it is quite a bit saturated, but there's so much potential booming. We have Coinbase NFT platform. We have Instagram bringing NFTs. So much social media platforms, TikTok. Eventually, the NFTs will be basically everyone will own an NFT. So OpenSea right now is a place to be for the top NFTs to buy and to keep an eye on the statistics of what's happening in an NFT world. And this interesting here, I read NFT 2.0. The next generation of NFTs will be streamlined and trustworthy. So right now, NFTs are still in an early stage and the market cap continues to grow. Make, it gets those spikes, but then continues to dip. And we will see another spike in the NFT market cap. And as we've seen those large sales of the crypto punks, the bored apes, and as NFTs continue to adopt and grow, like this example right here is just like email, how email started in the 90s. Look how email is now. So NFTs will follow that whole Web3 platform and continue to grow, become more mainstream, and it will be very easy. And everyone will be owning an NFT. And in fact, it is predicted right now that this new economy, Web3 3.0, the whole metaverse thing will create millions of jobs worldwide. And that's because we're moving in this whole new decentralized way where things are cross our cross border. So many things are connected. So you could be in any country working remote. And with COVID, that kind of proved that that's possible. And with Web3, that kind of shows how it's possible. So now we have the metaverse, NFTs, cryptocurrencies, digital assets. Everything can all connect through the world without you physically having to be there. And this creates more jobs and more people to do all these sorts of jobs in this new Web3 metaverse world. Just like how I'm making this video for you, helping people stay educated here on the markets and on crypto, everything crypto news and crypto for beginners. So make sure you are staying tuned to the channel. If you're into crypto or if you're new to crypto, our channel has all the content you need to know and much more on the way. That's all for this week. So I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on all the other analysis from the previous weeks. Looks like price is moving kind of exactly how we want it to right now for Bitcoin. The rest of the crypto market could just be seeing a mid-year recovery, but I'll keep you updated right here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe. See you again next time. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.